Hi everyone, today we're going to be discussing buoyancy force. Hopefully, we'll be able to explain it using the RC submarine toy shown here, which has a volume of approximately 3 cubic centimeters. The submarine will be placed in a flume full of water that has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeters. Buoyancy force is simply the upward force exerted by any fluid upon a body placed in it. In our case, it's the force exerted by water on the submarine toy, having a calculated magnitude of 0.0294 newtons. This force is what keeps our submarine floating, preventing gravity from pulling it down. Since the volume of the submarine and the density of water were all known, this formula was used to calculate the 0.0294 newton buoyancy force exerted on the submarine by water. Unlike any relatively heavy object placed on water, the submarine has the ability to control the buoyancy force, which allows it to either float or sink. This is achieved using the submarine's tank, called ballast tanks, that can be either filled with water or air. When it's on the water surface, those tanks are filled with air, making the overall density of the submarine less than that of the surrounding water. As the submarine dives into the water, the air gets vented out and replaced with water gradually until the submarine's overall density is greater than that of the surrounding water. At that point, the submarine begins to sink since its weight is getting greater than the buoyant force. To keep the submarine leveled at any particular depth, the submarine has to maintain a balance of air and water stored in its tanks so that its overall density is equal to the surrounding water. The buoyancy force is said to be equal to the gravitational force at that point. As can be seen, it was hard to perfectly balance the gravitational and the buoyancy force in order to hold the submarine still or make it move along a straight line at a very specific depth. As the submarine starts to surface after diving, compressed air flows from the air flask into the ballast tank, forcing the water out of the submarine until its overall density is less than that of the surrounding water. Hence, the buoyancy force is said to be greater than the gravitational force, which makes the submarine float on the water's surface. Thank you for watching, and we hope it was worth your while.